What's up, YouTube fans? Today we're reviewing X Transvat Savant, their version of Skits. So, this kind of signifies a couple of things um, for the collectors, for the fandom. Uh, one is we are starting to get to the secondary characters. You know, Skids is not necessarily a primary character in the G1 uh, continuum, but also um, X Transbots has been kind of on a roll. They started with their Claw 2, which I haven't reviewed yet. It's on my list, but this guy wanted to get this review out right away so that you guys could see it and see a production version of it. I know, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, he did a review of the pre production sample and Pia. Is that his name? No, not Pia. Boy, I forgot his name. He, he did a pre production review. He does all actually a lot of the Trex Transbots uh, figures. And um, he showed us a pre-production sample of this, and I wanted to show the production copy in case there's any differences or final changes. Um, but in terms of box, really tiny box. It's it's actually probably the smallest box we've ever gotten for X Trans box. Um, just in comparison, here is the Klaatu box. You know, and this figure's uh, I don't know, not that much bigger than this guy. Um, but the box is gigantic, so that saves cost, which is a good thing to the buyers you know you don't have to pay as much for the packaging and everything else and shipping uh, and the outside here you got um, and this is a nice drawing not not the uh, render it's a nice drawing uh, robot mode here you've got I am the place in which something has occurred I don't know I don't know what that is <laughs> and then you've got an image of the actual car and a little dog on the side there. This is the repaint of this guy. Uh, so that's really it for the box. Nothing else much on it. Um, no, usually they give us some kind of reveal or some kind of like, you know, here's an upcoming figure. Nothing like that, on at least on this. So we're going to get it open out of the package and we'll take a look. So here is Savant out of his packaging. Uh, very smartly packed, you know, compact little uh, styrofoam case. They're kind of Taking after fans toys there and I like the fact that they're making it compact because that just saves space and saves money uh, and then it comes with all these accessories you've got the little bike guy here which is pretty cool you've got his handgun and then his arm cannon and then you get this and again they've, they've made this very compact oh I don't like they seal the bag instead of taping it you gotta cut the bag open to get the instructions. But there it is, and you got the nice card. I never, I don't know, X Transbots cards never really thrilled me. They're always kind of dark. The images are a little dark. Looks brighter on the camera, but in in hand in picture, it's just really all their cards, including you know, starting from Apollyon forward, they were all kind of dark images. And I, I don't know. It just doesn't look like masterpiece card to me. Uh, but there you have that. And here is the figure, and it's pretty cool looking. Um, the paint on it's really nice. It's got this metallic blue. So it's got a cool, and it's cold because I took this package in from outside and immediately started to review. So you can, if you see a little bit of condensation, that's because this guy was straight out of the mailbox. And it's October here in uh, New York, so um, this right now our, our weather is uh, kind of cold. Um, it's like in the 40s. So this guy was coming out of 40 degree temperatures to be immediately reviewed and so that's why he's uh, has come some condensation on it. But that's not there normally. Now these mirrors are bendy, rubbery plastic and they're okay. Um, and the paint on this guy looks really good so far. So here you got the back, the tail lights, you got a nice exhaust built in there. In the front you got the headlights, they look like eyes almost. You got a little logo there for the company. Obviously there's no actual logo. And turn signals and fog lights. Um, it looks like it's a little bit mistransformed here. So I'm going to try to figure out what's going on there. Why is it so off? And then we'll uh, fix it up and uh, be right back with it. Alright guys, we're back. It was definitely mistransformed. Actually it was kind of a pain to <laughs> get it the right way. Um, the, the two arms do fit nicely together and they, they tab up into here and it's a nice solid connection. It rolls really well. 
but it was definitely mistransformed. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, why quality control, but it wouldn't have caught that. But um, once you get it transformed correctly, man, it's really, really beautiful vehicle mode. Um, nice and solid chunk, you know, it rolls really well. It's got nice rubber tires on here and nicely detailed wheels. So overall, very nice vehicle mode. Let's just bring in their uh, vehicle for comparison. So as always, we'll bring in our masterpiece blue streak here and here he is next to blue streak and it looks pretty good it's a good size definitely heavier it's got a lot of die cast in it um speaking of that let's just take a quick wait just for comparison so this guy comes in at eight and a half ounces and prowl is f about five ounces so heavier than your standard mp car uh, width wise very similar width, a little bit taller which makes sense because he's kind of like a little vanette or a van um, He's a Japanese type of van that could fit one of these little scooters inside which is kind of cool um, I think this actually transforms too, so we'll figure that out Not sure how Easy or quick it transforms or if there's other parts involved or what we'll have to take a look um, This has plastic tires, but it does have a kickstand so you can stand it up. I believe it does transform here. So we'll have to figure out how it transforms. But it's a cool little thing to include, you know? It's extra little gimmick that this van actually came with um, in real life. It had a little scooter. Anyway, here it is with uh, Masterpiece Office Prime, and I think that looks perfect. Very nice scale. Uh, as far as length, he is almost five inches exactly uh, about two inches wide and two and a quarter tall pretty good size I think he scales well with other masterpiece cars I don't like the fact that these are not kind of because they're rubber they sort of got bent or molded into this shape so they just have to relax over time but the detail on the car is very very nice the paint the lights it's just a, it's a well done Masterpiece car. It's what I would have come to expect from Masterpiece. Uh, the doors do open up so you can kind of stick your finger in and pop it in from down here. And it actually has seats in it and a steering wheel, which is kind of cool. And it's got a little bit of detail in there, not a lot. I mean, you can still see the robot mode in there, but not a lot of MP cars. The last one we got one like that was uh, Masterpiece Sunstreaker. It didn't have a detailed interior. This one actually has seats. So pretty cool. They didn't need to include that, but they do. Uh, and then the back opens up too, and you can kind of do the same thing. You can sort of pop it up with your thumb from the inside. It's a little challenging, but you can get it. And this thing actually fits in here perfectly, just like that. And it closes. So, really cool. I, I really like that. Um, it's just such a neat little Easter egg feature. <laughs> Uh, and I think this mounts somewhere. I'm going to have to find that out from the instruction books. Uh, this definitely mounts on the top, so you can just vehicle store it right there, which looks great. Great vehicle. And, it, and it definitely, it's awesome that these things open up. It's just a cool little car. Um, I'm really impressed by their accuracy that X Transbots have been getting. Now, their, their downfall has always been transformations sacrificed because they're trying to get such accurate vehicle and robot modes. Well now, with their last few figures, their Cloud 2 and their Extranzots crack up their version of uh, Breakdown and Flip Out, which I'll be getting soon and I'll be reviewing as soon as I get it. Um, those were all really good figures and I think they've improved a lot. So I'm hoping, you know, they're on a roll here. I'm trying to see maybe this mounted on this somewhere, but I don't see that. I'll have to get out the, get out the instructions and uh, take a look at that, but I do like this. This fits in here and it actually can be angled up and down. Or you can just set it in there. I'm thinking this mounts somewhere. Or maybe you can just throw it in the you can throw it in the vehicle. Hey, throw the throw the motorcycle in and throw the gun in. And shut the door. And it probably will fit in there. I don't wanna I don't wanna force it, but um, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm definitely a fan of this uh, vehicle mode. Let's take a quick look at the instructions. All right, guys. So here's the instruction manual. Um, they've made these really compact now, 
and I just took a look through here in the vehicle mode and there's nothing where it shows where this gun mounts anywhere so I don't, I don't see any of that um, but it does show the motor bike going or scooter going in the back of the vehicle like I showed and also shows the transformation of the vehicle which is cool and it shows that this gun mounts on top and it can be angled upwards so let's just take a quick look at the bike There we go. So you kind of got to, you got to have fingernails and you got to really get at it. But this looks really delicate. This is like tiny, tiny plastic. But uh, there you go. There's a seat. I think. Let's see. Let's see what the book says. Oh, I guess you're supposed to fold it back flat. <laughs> down after you fold out the thing. So basically put it right back down like that. And then you have a little vehicle. And this thing is kind of, I don't know, I don't really want to transform it because I feel like it's going to break. It's very delicate. And it's hard to get back in here. Get the panel open. I don't know. I'd be careful with this. It seems like it's very delicate. But a nice little uh, vehicle mode, for sure. And it does it does uh, have a stand right here. So you can stand it up next to this guy. And it looks good. It's cool. So definitely impressed with the, the vehicle mode. Let's just get this closed up here. Or maybe we should store him inside. Just to show... I need to get myself a spudger. Hopefully I can buy one on Amazon or something. But there's a little slot to put the wheels in, so you just gotta get that slot. There you go. And then close the door, and that closes up all the way, nice and tight. And there you go. Vehicle's all self-contained. Got all the parts in it. Definitely like this uh, vehicle mode. And I think it fits well with the rest of the Masterpiece line. Um, that's really it for vehicle mode. I really do <laughs> I think the paint job and the details on this guy reflect what this vehicle actually is. I'll try to get a picture of the G1 skids, put that up there so you can see how close this is to the G1. And also let me see if I can find a picture of this vehicle in, uh, in real life and see if I can put that up there too. Uh, but definitely a nice looking vehicle all the way around. So look at this guy transformed. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm not going to show the transformation on video. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I don't do that. Uh, but we do have this pretty nicely detailed uh, instruction booklet. A lot of pages here with color and... So it looks like a pretty good instruction. They've been doing pretty well with these in the last few figures. So we'll get this guy transformed. We'll be right back. Alright guys, here you have Savant all transformed up into his robot mode. And uh, it's a pretty cool transformation. Um, there's a couple of parts that are a little flimsy and I, I didn't really like it. But overall, it comes together really well. Very intuitive. The legs especially are just beautifully done. Um, it, it kind of... It's such an improvement that x has been able to make in their design and in their transformation from where they were before with figures like Apollyon and Elagos and some others. It just feels solid, except for a couple places. So right here, this shoulder joint here, there's a couple tabs on the inside of that. They're supposed to go in here. And it doesn't really sit very solid, so as you're manipulating the arm, sometimes it can come apart. Um, and then this, it's got a really big... Um, this is a little loose too, right here. And I don't know, that's probably... It looks just, it's just a uh, mushroom peg. So I think it's supposed to be a soft ratchet in there, but the ratchet's really loose. So, the shoulders aren't my favorite. I'll say that. But the rest of this figure, it looks really good. They did a great job with this. Let's bring in some other figures for comparison. Well, here we have, again, uh, Blue Streak's brother Prowl. 
and almost identical height and width and even even the the wings kind of remind me of uh, this Nissan um, Fair Lady mold you know it's just it's got that same look with the wings coming out and yeah it's just even the back the way the back is done it's kind of very similar the way it turned out I don't think they were going after this design but it, it is a very well done legs in detail here he's with uh, Optimus Prime and we'll just show you height comparison. He comes up to about the waist. I mean, it's the same guy, height as this guy, so. Um, that looks about right. Just trying to remember from the cartoon. Uh, let's put in an image of this guy from the cartoon. And I think they did a pretty good job. You know, it's a very good representation of G1 skids. Uh, and, and it's got some really good articulations. There's a couple things that, that bother me. One, one I already told you about these shoulder weak joints are a little bit weak. Um, and then this right here, the soft ratchet is, is failing. This one's kind of tight, but I'm not sure why. So let's go over articulations. The head is on a rotating swivel. No, is that a ball joint? It's a ball joint. So it basically it gets all the way around and up and down, down to there. The chin kind of blocks it and then up to there, which is plenty. You don't want to be scratching this paint right here, so you don't want to kind of push it too far down. But, and you've got the nice metallic blue eyes. Again, they're going and you know, taking after fans toys there with the metallic blue eyes. I think that's the way to go with these uh, Autobots. Uh, you do have so a soft ratchet at the bicep. Um, you get a elbow rotation, but as you rotate, it tends to make this joint come apart. So you kind of have to hold this and then you can rotate it. This, it is just a little weak there. So, but you do get a rotation here, you get a 90, a little over 90 degree bend at the elbow, which is plenty. Is it double jointed? No, single jointed. Rotation at the wrist, uh, single pinned fingers here. And then you do get uh, the weapon, which kind of just pegs right in, so it doesn't even peg in, it just slides in the hand. And then it's got this peg system back here to hold it in place. It's really solid. It's not going anywhere. Oh, it's a good it's a good design. I haven't seen that before where they had that picks. And then this guy, this thing can go on the other hand. And both are both are solid. So uh, moving on, so you do have a rotation at the waist all the way around and a huge ab crunch, which that sometimes that joint can be a little annoying. And actually you can see a little bit of Plastic is coming off here because it's rubbing. Maybe you can see that. So I don't know. I don't really like that. But uh, full rotation at the hips. Goes all the way up to there. All both on soft ratchets. The knees are hard ratchets. Nice clicky ratchets. Um, and then you've got ankle tilt and ankle pivot, both on just a friction joint. Uh, you can rotate it down, but it kind of breaks the sculpt, so you kind of want it up like that. And then you can get it at kind of basically whatever pose you want. He's, he's got a lot of flexibility. A lot of posability. Uh, so in robot mode, this guy really looks good. This doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of, you can put it in its vehicle mode and leave it out. Um, again, I don't really like to transform this thing because it's kind of fragile, but I forgot to show the detail on this. So it's got some lights here light in the front, some painted details on the side. Not bad for a little tiny thing, and now you can just kind of sit it next to it. Uh, but overall, pretty pretty nicely done robot mode. I'm, I'm impressed with the improvement that X-Transbots have made. Uh, and if you look at the robot mode, it's the same details come out from the vehicle mode, which is what I, it's kind of the signature of a good masterpiece is all those details you saw in vehicle mode come out and display in, in the robot mode. And that's, that's kind of how, what this figure does, you know, it really, really nails that. And you can get plenty of dynamic poses. Oh, I forgot this. There's, there is a joint going out up this way. So you can get the shoulder all the way up to there. And then you can also rotate it. Although this rotation is a little loose. So you can get him in whatever pose you want. And then these back here are adjustable. They can pull out if 
you want it further out, you can push them in. This sort of just lays flat on the back, which is good. I think that's how it should look. And it lays back flat against the back of the seat, so it nice, nice tucks up the way. You don't have a huge backpack. You know, just kind of tucks away there. So all in all, I think this is a, a really good release from uh, X Transbots, uh, except for these, which I think they could have done a better job, a better design. Um, and actually, you can kind of see right here, the plastic is stressed right there. And I think that was due to the, it was mistransformed when I got it, and this looks like it's going to break. And that's not good. So um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I would just be careful with these joints here. And I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna fix this myself. I'll put a little bit of floor polish in there. I shouldn't have to do that. I don't know if that's just my copy or that's just a general problem with this figure, but um, it shouldn't it shouldn't have to do that. It should just be good out of the package. Um, but other than that, really nice figure, really good detail. Love the paint on it. Um, good quality. Other than this, and um, nice accessories. You know, you got the two guns. Everything really looks good on it. It's good, good face sculpt. Here it is up close. Good white paint. With the, the mouth is a little underdefined, but overall the head sculpt is really good. So I definitely recommend this. X Trans Bus is on a roll. I can't wait to see their flip out figure, their version of uh, Wild Wild Rider. Yeah, their version of uh, Wild Rider. Um, that's on its way, so I'll be trying to review that next. Um, the other figure that could be here any day now is Fans Toys version, or their quietest figure, their version of Cyclonus. So any either of those could be next, but um, the way x Bus is going, I'm excited to see uh, how they go with that Menasaur. Their, what are they calling them? I forgot. Their, their version of Menasaur. It's, it's looking good so far. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time.